The components required for this experiment are ESP32 board, LCD display, I2C converter, TDS sensor, connecting wires, connecting cable and a breadboard. Now log into the Blink.Cloud website. Then go to Developer Zone. Here click on New Template and give the template name. Water Quality Monitoring. Here select the hardware as ESP32 and connection type as Wi-Fi. And then click on the Done button. Now go to Setup Data Streams. So this is the menu. And go to New Data Stream and select virtual pin. Here we need to create two variables. The first one is the TDS that is total dissolved solid in the water. Here select the pin as V0, select the data type as double and select the maximum value as 500. Here if you want you can change the color. Now click on the create button. Now again go to new data stream, select virtual pin and this variable name is EC which is electronic conductivity in water. So the pin is V1, data type is double. Here select the, here also give, we can give the maximum value as 500. Now click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard. Here we need to drag two gauge widgets. Now go to the settings of the first gauge. Here choose the data stream as TDS and click save. Now go to the settings of the second gauge. Here we need to choose EC. Click save. Now we can save the template. Now go to devices. Here click on new device and then select from template. Here we can see the template which we created water quality monitoring. Select that and click the create button. Now we got the template ID, template name and our indication token. Now click this and copy the values. Now go to your program. So here paste the values which we copied. Also we need to enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. So here we need to install the Blink library from Tools Manage Libraries. Now we can upload the program. For that go to this uh, drop down. Here this is our port COM4. Click on that. So we are using ESP32 board. So select ESP32 dev module. Now click OK button. Now click this upload button and upload the program. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Once you open the application you can see the same template which we created in the Blink web dashboard water quality monitoring. Now click on the template. Here click the settings icon. Now from the bottom of the page click the plus button. So here also we need to add two gauges. Now click on the first gauge. Here choose the data stream as TDS. Now go to design and give the title. Now go back. Now click the second gauge. Here choose the data stream as EC and go to design and give the title. Now go back and again click the back button. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output.